This is session 23 of Average Edge course for beginners. In this session, we will see demo to provide appropriate error message back to the client application based on the response from an API endpoint. This is continuation to our previous session. So in case if you haven't watched our session 22, I would strongly recommend you to watch before proceeding with this session. All right, let's navigate to Postmark tool and let's try to generate the access token with the invalid username and password. Here we go. We are getting invalid username or password. So this username and password which we pass in the headers we use to form my API authorization header using basic authentication policy. We have discussed this in our previous sessions. So if you haven't watched, I would recommend you to watch those sessions. So this is the username and password which we uh, use to form my API authorization header. And this is the username and password which we actually use to authenticate. All right. Here, if we provide invalid username or password, then we get invalid username or password error message. On the other hand, if we provide invalid username or password, which we try to form my API authorization header, then also we get the same error message. Then, in this case, client will not know which is wrong. This details or the actual username or password is wrong. So in this case, we'll have to get error message something like my AP authorization header is incorrect. On the other hand, if username or password is incorrect, then this is the appropriate error message. So let's see how can we achieve that. So let's navigate get to our backend endpoint, which is validating this. So here, if you could see, we are validating my API authorization header and the header value must be uh, equal to this and the username and password should be equal to these provided values. So all these conditions are met. We are providing 200 OK, else we are providing 404 to the client application. So based on this status code, then we are proceeding the request further. So let's navigate to the Habitage Edge UI and see how we are handling this. So let's click on AP proxies under develop menu, which will provide all the available AP proxies which we have created already in our course so far. So here if you could see AP proxy demo is the AP proxy which we have been using in our course so far. So let's use the same AP proxy in this session as well. And let's navigate to develop tab. And here, if you could see generate access token icon, password is the flow which we use to generate access token based on password grant type. And if you could see here, SE iPhone validate user, it is service call or policy which is calling our backend endpoint to validate. So let's based on so once it gives username and password to our backend endpoint our backend endpoint will do response so that response will be saved in color response variable and based on the status code we are proceeding the request further if the status code is not 200 then we, we call rf an invalid credential policy so let's navigate to that policy and see what it has so it says invalid username or password so which we get as the response from the client application so now let's try to do slight modification here in the endpoint in order to differentiate the error message so what I'm going to do is let's stop the application now and I'm going to handle this in a different way. If my authorization as and if well if my authorization if the is false, it means if the request does not have 
my AP authorization header or my AP authorization header value is not equal to this, then I say bad request. Else if username and password equals to the provided value then I say okay else I say not found so now we are providing bad request 400 to the client application when when the request does not have my AP authorization header or my AP authorization header value is not equal to this on the other hand, if it has correct username and password, we are saying 200 OK. On the other hand, we are telling 404 not found to the application. So with these changes, let's run this API endpoint. And now let's try to navigate to the happy edge and let's go to our flow so here now we are handling if the code is not 200 then we are calling this policy so now first condition we will get 400 bad requests so we'll have to handle that so let's say if the code is 400 then you need to provide the error message as my API authorization header is invalid. So in order to provide that, let's try to add a new rise follow policy, rise for policy. So in order to add a new policy, click plus icon in the policy section and seek for rise for policy and add the policy. I'm going to name this policy as RF invalid editor. And let's add to invalid editor. I'm going to change the status code as 400 bad request and switch to bad request. And let's try to provide some payload. Let's provide something like this. And change the error message something like invalid my API authorization vector. So we have added this policy, so we will have to attach this policy in the flow. So let's copy the name of the policy and let's attach this policy where we found. So if the status code is not to add, let's add a step again and provide the condition here so let's copy this tab and paste it over here all right so invalid credentials when we'll get invalid credentials we'll have to say if the response is phone or four not phone then we'll have to say invalid credentials so if the status code is phone or four then we need to call this policy so which will say invalid username or policy on the other hand if the status code is 400 bad request then we'll have to call the policy which we created now so let's copy this policy name and provide it here
let's paste it and with all these changes let's save this version as new revision and before that we will have to expose our endpoint to the internet using ngrock so let's do that again if you haven't watched our session to uh, expose our local web server to the internet i would recommend you to watch uh, our ngrock session to get familiar with that because apache edge cannot uh, get access or it cannot get in touch with the uh, local host web server so it can only get in touch with the endpoint which is available to the internet so let's expose our endpoint to the internet using ngrock so this is our public url to our web server so let's navigate to our service call policy which is uh, calling our backend endpoint and let's try to provide the url here so with these changes let's save and deploy our revision in test environment Now our revision is saved and deployed in test. Now navigate to Postman tool and let's try to provide the invalid username and password. So in this case, let's see what we get. So we're getting 400 invalid my API authorization data. That is because so we provide invalid password which we use to uh, for my AB authorization enter actually we can see that uh, in the action so if you could navigate to the flow and here we use we have an encode credentials basic authentication policy so if you could see that policy we take username and password from the header of the request and we form my API authorization header, which we pass to backend through service caller policy. So here, if you see my API authorization header, we we pass and direct value we are getting from the request. We pass this header value to the backend, and then we are validating. First, we validate whether it has my API authorization header, or if the value is not equal to this. If that is yes, then we say for a bad request. So based on that, we are handling it here. If the response is 400, then we say we call invalid enter policy, which is giving this error message. So now let's try to provide the appropriate value, correct username and password. And here we are providing the invalid username. So now let's see what we get. We should get invalid username or password. Here we go. We are getting invalid username or password. On the other hand, if I try to provide the correct value, then we should be able to generate access token without any issues. Here we go. We are able to generate access token without any issues. All right, that's it in the session. I hope uh, this is helpful. And thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed our channel, I would uh, ask you to subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching and have a good one.